Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker Campus and it's a blessing to be with you today. As followers of Jesus Christ, we are all called to live lives that honor God. Here at Calvary, we believe that you cannot represent Jesus unless you reflect his character. And the best way that we can represent Jesus, the best way that we can honor God is how we conduct our lives. And the only way that our lives can truly reflect Jesus is when we're all in and are completely submitted to God. When we submit, we surrender our whole lives to God. We walk in this newness of life and our lives become a living testimony of God's goodness, sometimes without even saying a word. And others get to see that and witness that transformation, especially unbelievers, and it can win them over to Christ. Another great way to honor God is in our marriages. It is a beautiful picture of the love of God when both are submitted to God and to each other and are living in a way that honors Him. But what about a spouse who does get saved and the other doesn't and is still an unbeliever? That happens a lot. What then? Well, the Apostle Peter addresses that in 1 Peter chapter 3, starting at verse 1. He says this, Likewise, wives, be subject to your own husbands, so that even if some do not obey the word, they may be won without a word by the conduct of their wives, of their lives. You know, this is a lot like my own story. I came to Christ in 2008 and my wife would give her life to Christ two years later. And what really spoke to her wasn't my words, but my conduct as a follower of Jesus Christ. Because I was completely submitted to God. She, she saw the change in me and that change drew her to know the God that had changed my life. You know, when I first came to Jesus, I started to understand that my first and most important mission, my ministry, is my family, my wife, my kids. And if you have an unbelieving spouse today, and if they truly see you living for God because you are submitted to him, that will speak more to their lives than actual words. And because of your godly conduct, that will win them over to Christ. Remember, we are all called to live our lives in a way that honors God so that others, especially unbelievers, can see your life and give glory to God and win them over to Jesus. And one of the best ways to really show the love of God, especially in our marriages, is when both submit to God and to each other. That means forgiving each other, serving each other, not lying to each other, and really loving each other the way that God loves us. Others will see that and be blessed. And because of your conduct, you may win them over to Christ. God bless you.